Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 169 pounds, fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Pistol. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Nice kick there by Lee. Lands with the knee of the body. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? 
Oh, and that kick is blocked. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, nice hook by in there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports. Does that one appear to stun him? He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. An uppercut landed. He lands the head kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Blocked. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent in position where he can get off the strikes. All right, he engages in a single ball tie here. And he landed the right hand there. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Trying to stay in this fight! Oh, straight right! Oh, high amplitude head kick! Nice counter left there. Oh, big left hook there! So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Not good. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to be kicked like that. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, single collar tie here. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Big ball from punch land. Now we get back in range. Oh, that knee. knee. That knee hurt him. All right, some really cooling What a round. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. Great one. to avoid the right. Lands the right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Let your hands go. Let 
Oh, man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take it. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Hands high, hands high. Big body. And he switches his stance yet again. Good punch. Right hook to the head block. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Back and forth we go! Big kick. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes. He's throwing it over and over again. Nice, sneaky head kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Look at the angle of that nice body. Ooh, what a punch. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Lee's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just misses with the straight left hand. Big kick lands. Chop the leg. Checks the leg kick. All right, single collar tie now. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Whoa! Oh! Guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. Good exchange there inside. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage. Lee gets caught with that punch. So he lands another strike here to his opponent's liver. The defense has got to do something at this point in time. He was buckled with a similar shot earlier in the fight. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. Man. And they separate. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will. Oh! He needs to start. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, no! Oh, big left! Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here, just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Well, he's got his back now. He's gonna start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. He might get a finish here! This might just be a matter of time. Wow. All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating. You need to be framing. You need to be moving, looking for opportunity to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it.
over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Third round underway. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Big kick lands. Oh, head kick blocked, though, by Lee. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish the fight. Oh! Just out of range with that right hand. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Big punch land. Ooh. Big knee land right through the opponent's midsection. Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish down now. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. John now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. It's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxing going back and watching this guy and going, wow. This is what a jab is supposed to look like. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading with... Whoa! fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Lee. Boy, Thai Plump. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, collar tie. Oh, vicious knees landing up top. No head gear allowed in the octagon. And at some point defensively, if you don't adjust, the referee's going to step up. The night is almost over. If you don't defend yourself, you will eventually go to sleep. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. And he caught the kick. Nice kick. Oh, can't put any weight on it. Another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages.
we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 58 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, this time. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.